All right, I'm back. I had to take care of a, a bit of uh, I had to take care of a few things. Weird. Why is my mouse being so strange? I don't know. Weird. Oh well. need to restart my computer. <laughs> I'll get to it. It'll be fine. So I still want to keep this idea of dice pool. But also, yeah, I think, I think this concept I've created of the dice pools still works really well. Um, I think it was the lists that were the problem for me. Because if everyone was aware of the list, then whatever die you selected was kind of obvious, and there weren't a ton of options for what you could do with it. I feel like on having individual lists, the die that you select becomes a lot more interesting.
Hmm. Right now, I'm just thinking about sort of what. Like, what am I trying to do? What... What is the purpose of each step? You know, is there a better way for each step? Is there a simpler way for each step? Am I making it overly complicated? Um, so, for example, like, I'm trying to figure out... Like, I like the idea of this, of having a loop value that's just rolled and so I'm wondering what I feel like there should be a sheet for each turn, each map making turn where you log the choice that you made. Something like a table basically that just says like, uh, on whose turn you picked what, when, you know, like in order, just to keep things accurate for people. That feels like a lot of map, like bookkeeping, so I'm not sure.
Hmm. I haven't come to a decision yet. A lot of deep thought going on today, apparently. <laughs> oh, hey, Johnny, what's up? That's cool. No worries. Yeah, yeah, it is. I've been working on the concept a little bit. It's a little slow. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, it started out really strong. But I've been kind of getting into a deeper, deeper hole of, you know, one question leads to another question. One, one answer leads to more questions than it does answers.
I mean, maybe. I think it's just more of a... Like, I, I know I'm headed in the right direction. Like, I can feel that I'm headed in the right direction. It's just, there's... There's a little piece I need. And I know that I need a piece. I'm just not sure what that piece is. So I guess it'd be a good idea to sort of point out the spots that I think don't make sense. So then I have something like a concrete thing to just say, these are the pieces I need to work on. So one, I have no idea how I think player movement should work. In fact, I'm not even sure that I want pl player characters to be on the map. I don't know if that matters. Well, I guess I can do this actually on an, in, in the document so it makes more sense. Uh, two. What is two? There is definitely a two. If information is secret, then 
then how do the players interact with it? Reasons to your position, how do players Hey, Erica. Ah, not too much. Just working on a game concept thing.
the more on, I work on this concept, the more I realize how good it is as the basis for that other game concept I was thinking of. Like, it really is. The thing about it is, is that that other concept is more of a single player experience. And I feel like it, like this, the more I work on it, the more it makes more sense as a single player experience to me. Simply because I'm, when you have things like hidden information and all that stuff, when the hidden information is not available to you, like it's controlled by a computer, it becomes a whole different concept. Right? But maybe that's the right thought process to have in this scenario where I can say, well, what do I want each player's experience to be, right? Do I want each player to have that sort of single player competitive experience against each other? The problem with this is that the only problem with going with that sort of experience is that it really benefits from having someone who controls everything and is not a player per se, like a dungeon master or a GM. And I find for this sort of style of board game RPG sort of thing, like like physical game having that type of player doesn't really work like they really lose out but it makes sense I mean maybe that is the thing that I'm missing here right where you should have a, a game master who the players give their secret information to and so sort of allows someone to control the flow of information in a way that makes sense and makes it fun to play
I'm going to take another break. And I will make some final decisions regarding this project. And we can have a talk about that. So yeah. Uh, break time part two. See you all in a bit.